Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube video and it is time for another sheet load showcase where I show you a quick look at all of the cards that the collaborators created this month. I hope you'll stick around for some awesome inspiration. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I don't know about you, but I think that June 2020 has been a super exciting month to be a subscriber to my channel and for being a fan of the sheet load of cards. Not only did I announce the four winners of my 10K subscriber giveaway, but this month's sheet load, not only is it one of my favorite sketches probably of all the sheet loads, but there have been so many extras. I wanted to go over some of those with you before I start sharing with you the cards from the collaborators. So on the first of the month, I shared with you how to download the June sheet load of cards for free if you're a subscriber. And then I came back on the second to show you how I created all six of my cards using this month's printable. Some of you might have already started creating your sets of sheet loads. I know I've seen a lot of you on Instagram and a couple videos here on YouTube. And you might be thinking, wow, the banners get to be a little too much. It is a lot of banners to cut. So that's why I came back with a video inspired by at AZ Crafty on Instagram to show you how you could more easily make your banners using a couple punches. This video will be linked below if you want to check it out. Speaking of easy ways to cut all of those banners, I also shared a video where Sarah of the NIFs here on YouTube has shared free SVG files for all of the pieces for like four or five months of sheet load, including the June one. So that video also is linked below if you want to check it out, especially if you have an electronic cutter. Now something else I tried out this month was using up my leftovers. I shared a video where I showed you how I made these four cards using just a few extra card bases and leftovers from when I made my original set for this month. Many of you have already said you love this, so I hope to make this a monthly feature as well. Now let's talk about my collaborators. I have so enjoyed having this team, seeing what they do each month. I know they've inspired me and I'm betting it's the same with you. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you on screen a look at everybody's card set for the month. Now, if you want to go check out for more specifics, I will have their YouTube channels, Instagram accounts, and blogs linked below so you can go get more details. I hope you'll leave some love in the comments and let everybody know how much you like what they created. Let's go ahead and see what they did.
Wasn't that so inspiring? Thank you to all of my collaborators who join me each month. I love having you as part of the team and seeing what you create. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I hope as always that you'll give it a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.